and Coco LAPD black and white cruisers have been moving back and forth patrolling the bridge so far it's all quiet here have a look the Boyle Heights side traffic moving by smoothly seemingly no problems better look up top Sky Fox we go check this out huh there she is lighting up the night sky sure is pretty huh but on social media this bridge is anything but leaving one city lawmaker to say what is happening on the new 6th Street Bridge has become a real a real embarrassment for LA you already know why watch the brand new 6th Street Bridge it is open now but no one is certain for just how long I'm glad they opened up the bridge again I mean we came out two hours away to come check out this beautiful bridge Hopefully it stays open and no more chaos goes on. They came all the way from San Bernardino just to see this, LA's new multi-million dollar bridge, the one that's now been closed four out of the last five nights. Yeah, I've seen everyone post it. I was like, I might as well come check it out myself, you know? But the bridge has taken on a life of its own on social media. The crashes, street takeovers, burnouts, and all the other stunts, like climbing atop the steel arches of the bridge or even getting a haircut right in the middle of traffic on the bridge itself. Arrests are being made, citations, you know, impounding of vehicles, seizures of those vehicles. Uh, will continue as long as this conduct continues. The latest unsafe conduct shut the bridge down Tuesday night when bicyclists, about 100 of them, moved in, some pointing a green laser at LAPD patrols, injuring one officer. We're not going to allow a small group of individuals to hijack this bridge, you know, for their own self-interest, for their own self-worth, for their own selfish purposes. While the city doubles down on its vow to improve safety and end the lawlessness here that's taken over the 6th Street Bridge, some already seeing the tide is starting to turn. A lot more cops than it used to be, at least. And, you know, it's quiet today, right? That's what, that's what I personally noticed. It's quiet today. It kind of surprised you? Uh, surprised me, definitely. Now live, surprising, definitely, he says, and that's something a lot of folks have been saying. They get here early because they want to see the bridge before they think it's going to close. They say it's surprising. They see a lot more police patrols moving around. They don't see the chaos, as that one fella said. So it is quiet now, no signs of any trouble. But as one nice lady said just a little while ago, she was here with her granddaughter. She looked at her watch, and she said, you know, it's still early yet, so we'll see. For now, we are live here downtown, near downtown, Boyle Heights side of the bridge. Back to both of you we go.